Good morning. Welcome to Three Real Motion Angling. I'm Khalil G. Thanks for spending your time. Let's go fishing. I am out here on a very, very brisk Sunday morning. I'm up at the crack of dawn so I can go fishing. The lake is calling me. The doppel dangler is complete. I mean, not exactly 100% complete, but we're like 95% complete. Everything's done, the motors are mounted, the batteries ran, the cables are ran, the live well's up and running, and I'm about to go tester on my favorite new lake I can put a boat on, Stone Mountain Park. So I'm gonna go over there to Stone Mountain, down here in GA, take a run around those waters. According to Fish Brain, the spotted bass should be biting within the next hour, and I'm trying to get onto that before the drop off. So stay tuned, I see you on the water. I'm sure y'all can imagine how I feel, you know, driving my boat to the lake for the first time. Well, not for the first time, for the second time. But this time I'm actually going on a fishing adventure. This time I'm actually fishing. And I'm excited, you know. I'm out here on a solo dolo mission, but that's okay. Because I'm gonna be doing this a lot and I can't expect somebody to go with me every single time. So it's just gonna be me and a doppeldangler and you lovely people but i'm gonna we're gonna see what we got going on out here in this lake this will be the first time i've been able to truly fish this lake for what it is and and see what it is and it's also the second part of my stability test because the first time i took out which you'll see you know in the previous video first time i took this thing out no bueno no bueno. That sucker was so unstable, it was ridiculous. It was just a rockety, riggedy craziness. So, got a little bit of a journey to the, like I said, to the destination, but when I get there, I'll let you know. How are y'all today? Good day. Good day. You, uh, you fish this lake a bit or not? Uh, it's gonna be my first time really getting out here. Okay. I've been fishing for the, from the bank for some time. Okay. This is my first official adventure. Okay. I was gonna ask some tips. Yeah, I'm sorry I don't have any. I'm sorry. I was about to say we could have shared, but you know, you're new too, then here we go. Time to plug up my fish finder. I just picked up this Garmin right here. And this uh gonna be my first use ever. So I gotta get her plugged up and all that before we set out. 
so that way I can just get it turned on and ready to go trolling motor is in and mounted everything is looking pretty good she's on the water she's pretty buoyant secondly my stability issue is still there and very present but nowhere near as bad as it was when I first came out I can probably most definitely fish from where I'm at which is the middle of the boat right up here I got my, my tackle bag and all my boxes my motors there I think I'm about ready to get out there get to some banking test this trolling motor and see how my footing is all right well I'm out here got the Minn Kota 45 rear motor in chopping it up looking pretty good I'm trying to get myself close to this upcoming bank here so that way I can uh, test out the trolling motor and fish finder working and things like that you know I am still having a slight stability issue but that's just the price of a small boat I'm out here really just testing it out, see if I'm going to end up needing a new battery or any of that kind of stuff. We'll see how it goes. Got my GoPro strapped on for when I'm ready to go fishing. Hopefully no mishaps happen and I can just stay clear and do what I got to do. Catch y'all in a second. I'm not sure how well y'all can see that, but I got my fish finder on and working. Controlling motors on and working. And I think I understand how to use it. I'm going to give it a shot. Well, I can't spot lock mine. So, we're not. But what I can do is get one of these rods out and make something of my time here. Start with this new frogging rod I got. 2.7. This is all shallow over here. So far right now, according to my heading, we're at 14 or so feet of water heading out towards center. Pretty decent water, you know, for where we are. About 11 feet of water now. The bottom of this lake fluctuates so much. But man, this is my first, first, <laughs> I'm so excited I can't even talk. This is my first, first time owning a boat, first time being on the water fishing in a boat, first time owning a trolling motor, first time building my own deck and everything, first time owning a fish finder. Ah, this is a lot of firsts on this adventure right here. You know, and it would be lovely to catch my first fish of 2020 today also. Live well test one, begin. Uh-oh, what happened? She's doing all right. We're not taking in any kind of extra water. It takes a while to fill up the lava. I thought that shit was gonna be faster than that. Yeah, that is me. By sitting on the front of the boat, I'm pulling the pump out of the water somehow. So far, so good. Seems to be holding water. Pretty solidly. Not really bringing the water down any. I mean the boat down any. Yeah, I can't see it. It looks like regular water to, to the viewers, but I am live well is being filled right now. It's looking pretty good. Pump is working pretty good. Still says I got 12.1 volts on the battery, and I've been running for about an hour or two. Well, uh, we're not about we're about an hour or two now with everything plugged up, and we're still looking good. So that's a good sign. At the very least, I can fill the tank up, and the tank does work. The only other issue that I'm having that I can clearly realize is, is that I'm probably going to have to leave it on a permanent recirculation, where one pumps water in, and the other is just sucking and dumping the water out the side. 
You know, that's the only way I could do that if I wanted to put fish in there and then I'd have to just, I mean, I don't have to have a bubbler running the whole time. I can really just stick them in there for a while and they'll be fine without the bubbler running. And then I'll have to refresh the water every so often. Good attempt at a live well, I just gotta figure out that pipe and why it's not working. Uh, not yet. I mean, but I am standing up here right now. And I mean, it feels about the same. I'm standing up here with the live well filled and she's decent. I'm pretty much in, the, in some solidly, well not really solidly still water because I have drifted quite some ways from where I was just standing in. Camera on a tripod. Whoa, almost fell that time. So it's got to try to step down. It's kind of a kind of a deep drop. My daddy was right about that drop being so deep. So you need to just like a step, you need to be able to just kind of get up there. Sure enough, I was like, drop! Drop! Give me a quick last minute tour now that I'm actually done fishing and had a chance to use everything and walk through everything. Boat handles absolutely wonderful. All the storage and canvas and everything held up decently well. I do need to reinforce the actual doors, like these front standing doors, because they're not as sturdy as I would like them to be. And that one right there is starting to bow a little bit. And now the only thing that's because the first time I used them, I didn't have any latches or supports in them. And I kind of stepped on it and pushed it all the way through. As far as everything else goes, the trolling motor was a wonderful, wonderful additive. I do need to remember to tighten this up when I go back to the house. This needs to be, this nut needs to be tightened and this strap needs to be tightened. So they both won't move. I do need to re take that back bolt out of this and readjust it and tighten it back down. But as far as just pure excitement goes that handles itself very well uh, my new rods did pretty well I didn't get really a chance to catch anything on them but they did well uh, live well filled up well held water well so that did really well as far as that goes a little bit further than my expectations She's doing pretty good we got um, I'm about to dock her now and uh, get her straight for so I can take her home. I'll give you a dry land tour in a second. All right, now that I've got her back on land, I can give you a quick setup of how she's looking right now. Got my foot pedal here for my Minn Kota, 45 edge front trolling motor. My Garmin 
front mounted fish finder all my doors I haven't cleaned them out yet but they all work um, this is my live well which I can't access with the trolling motor down but I'll move that in a second so I can take a look at that um, I had a storage under here which I couldn't figure out how to bolt down or strip or make a door properly so I just have it strapped down it works pretty good that way uh, the rear doors here this door here leads to the pumps and the wiring I'm sorry this door here leads to the battery which I just I shifted out of place to get the drain plug out uh, all my stuff is working pretty good uh, only issue I had today, that's another storage pack here where I keep my anchors and various things like that. But the only issue that I had today was that um, first I didn't get any fish. That's my number one issue. And the other issue is that my live well wasn't 100% right. It wouldn't do right. I have to worry about fixing that soon and that'll be about it.